only at the Indianapolis Zoo. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm one of the elephant trainers here at the Indianapolis Zoo. I've been here for about 18 years. Um, we're still here every day with the elephants, making sure that they're well cared for. Tommy and Kanar are not actually related to each other, but they are good buddies. They spend a lot of time together. So they're checking out the different boxes to see. We put some of their fun treats in there. We put in some alfalfa, which is a really rich hay that they like, um, along with some of their normal orchard grass hay that they eat. Um, we also gave them some ice treats out here in the yards. One of the most important things we do here um, is enrichment for our animals. Um, elephants are extremely intelligent animals, um, so they require us to not only take care of them physically, but also mentally. Um, so we do a lot of different things with them throughout the day. Um, some of the biggest things we do with them is actually um, working on their social groupings and so we um, put the elephants in different social groups, compatible groups throughout the day and we switch up those groupings and different yards that they go in um, so that helps them to have more of a, a a normal elephant life of what they would be doing in the wild. Um, we also do several training sessions with the elephants every day that helps keep them both mentally and physically active. Um, so those are some of the things in addition to food items and different exhibit items that we give them for enrichment. You can also see the large structure behind Tombi there. That's actually our enrichment log that's built specifically for our male elephant, Kadar, and he really likes to play with that. Kadar weighs about 7,600 pounds, and that log weighs about 4,000 pounds. Um, the log is designed so he can actually pick it up and swing it and swivel it around, and he plays with it a lot like a, a young juvenile male in the wild would spar with another bull elephant. So it's really neat to see him use that um, feature and it's really, you know, it's a really exciting thing that we were able to do for him. So this is Sabrina with Tombi uh, doing a few different behaviors. Uh, one of the important things we do with our elephants every day, you just saw Sabrina do, is actually check her mouth to look inside her mouth, make sure her teeth and gums look healthy, uh, make sure her tongue looks healthy. So we do training sessions with our elephants every day. Um, we have a variety of behaviors that we do with our elephants. The majority of them are husbandry behaviors, which allow us to take better care of our elephants, um, such as you saw Sabrina checking her mouth. Um, we train them to lift their feet like Tombi's doing now, so that way we can check the bottoms of their feet, uh, make sure everything looks healthy. They also allow us to strengthen the bond and the relationship between the elephant and the trainer. So that way when we need to do things with the elephants, such as um, blood draws or anything like that to check their, check their health, um, they trust us and they allow us to do a lot of things with them. So Tombi's going to show us how the elephants dig and how they use their tusks. So you can see she kneels down on her front wrist and then she digs in the ground. Elephants in the wild would be digging for water and minerals, um, things like that. Our elephants here uh, really like to use their tusks to dig and create mud wallows. Each adult elephant knows about 50 to 60 different behaviors. So training elephants behaviors uh, kind of depends on the elephant on how long the behavior takes for them to learn. It also depends on the behavior you're asking. Um, some easier things like putting their trunk up. You saw Tombi put her trunk up on her forehead there. Um, that's pretty easy. Um, you know, it takes them just a day or so to learn that one, but something that's more complicated, like asking them to lay down or stretch where they kind of get down on their belly, um, that can take a little bit longer and is a little bit more complicated to teach. That one can take, you know, a week to a month, depending on the elephant and um, how motivated they are to learn it. Um, we tend to find the elephant's favorite treats um, and use those as good rewards when we're training a new behavior. So that way they have a uh, good motivation for when we're working with them.